I just can't seem to win today, guys. My name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. And guys, I guess the official skill has been released for Xeroth Dragon of Destroy Star Stark. So guys, before I get into this, I do want to state that I was in the middle of uploading a video that's going out, as you can see right here, on Friday or tomorrow. You guys will see this video on Thursday. So... I do have other thoughts in this video, but I'm not going to change its release or upload time to coincide with this. I'm going to give honest thoughts all around, and yes, I'm talking about the Xeroth Dragon quite a bit. And some of you might be okay with that, some of you may not be. I'm going to, before I get too much farther into this card, and my honest opinion from this point forward, and my last recording of this Xeroth Dragon for a while is that go hit the like button if you like the content hit like and subscribe if you're new so guys um it's currently 4 a.m for me so i'm gonna try to get through this as quick as possible and yeah so what is new with this zero of dragon well it seems like we finally got an official release for its skill and i'm not entirely sure if that's good or bad so let's get into the reasons why so its skill is counterblast 2 when it's placed on rear guard you may pay the cost if you do if you do until end of this turn this unit gets minus 2 drive this unit does not rest for attack and it can attack up to three times during the turn so why is this good and why is this bad well um it's good because it forces any attack to sort of it, it forces some things like one of my biggest concerns was mega colony stopping this but now it doesn't so yeah that's all my thing but yeah it doesn't rest which is kind of nice it i mean it takes away from some of the things like commander laurel it no no longer really works because you don't rest to attack with it so i don't know what decks are really gonna benefit from not having a resting vanguard and yeah um so i'm, I'm trying to think of what could benefit from the vanguard not resting in a turn but I can't think of any Link Joker, Dimension Police, or Nova Grappler decks that benefit from that. Huh. Because it doesn't technically rest, so nothing's restanding, which would have helped Nova's out. Um, it doesn't rest, so the Dimension Police Laurel combo is broken on it. And Link Joker just locks. So, with that being said, um... I don't know where to really put this card. I mean, I like this card. So I feel like after the initial shock of the card had worn off, after my disappointment had gone through and all of that, I've come to really like this card. I was, again, I was underwhelmed. Like, I built up height. I had all these great ideas in my head. And then the card sort of just was like, here you go. It's pretty straightforward, unlike the rest of the other uh, Xeroth Dragons, and I do have to say, after thinking about it, a minimum 30, 36k attacker three times is powerful. And I'm sort of going to leave my thoughts on that right there. I just want to say how much I really love the artwork of this card. I mean, it stands out, it's beautiful, I read the lore on a previous video, and it was just amazing overall. So yeah, I, I'm really excited for this card. And yes, I know I was saying it wasn't all that better. And yes, there are still some cards that can do its job better. Don't get me wrong there. Some cards are going to work better in certain decks. But this card is a nice versatility to some clans where Link Joker and Dimension Police aren't focused as much on their restanding. This card does do its job well. And I see this being in deleter decks and decks that aren't conventional to clans. I can see this being in a razor deck, even though I personally wouldn't want to use it there. It would still end up in my razor decks G zone, and I opened up my tab thing. 
Um, I can see this being in a Blau deck, I guess. I'm not too familiar with Blau's. I'll leave that up. And I can see this being in a DP deck, or, or a Dimension Robo. I'll leave that for Black Moon to decide. But overall, I think this card is pretty good. If you guys want more content like this, let me know. I will be this, I will be covering the Xeroth Dragon, this, the next one, as soon as it comes out in Giza. So stay tuned for that, guys. I have one more video to record before the night's over, which you'll see later today. So, guys, until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf. Please subscribe if you're new. We're almost at 200. We're at 162, guys. We literally got 38 more to go. Can we please try to crush that by the middle of February? Or by the end of no January is where I would really like it. But I would take middle of February as well. So, guys, until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.